Okay. Please, no jump scares. I like how Lee kind of knows which door to go to. Really? Or did, did he tell tell him which 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 room? Probably, I missed it. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. Please. And no jump scares. Please don't attack me from behind. Please. Please. Oh! Okay. I got us adjoining rooms. Okay. Hello? Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. Thanks. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? It's, uh, it's Lee. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Oh, whatever. Here's everything. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. But I do. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. What are you talking yeah. about? I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? <gasps> oh, I, I, I. It wasn't right. It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Mm, not on purpose. No, uh... Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. Uh, hmm. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I 
found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. <laughs> I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. What? How? How did? How did he? How did he know? It was impossible to save him. To save them both. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off. How could you know all this? Could I have told him, maybe? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Well, I, I didn't steal from you, man. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others, for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Our? Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got your son killed, so, um, yeah. You, you cray cray. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. <sighs> Let us go. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... Can we... I'm glad too. <gasps> I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Ha <laughs> 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 Oh, we got a cue. Please don't accidentally shoot. <laughs> 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 No 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 I have one arm and I can still beat you Don't shoot that gun Gun come on you you I can do this Oh wait what Jeez. Just go away! Die! Oh! Clem can really do some nice headshots. Nice shot, Clem, but now we attracted everything in this building to us. I... 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 It's okay. Oh, you poor thing. Your arm's gone. 
Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Um, did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? No, not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. It's my fault. Everything is dangerous. Like you said. It's okay. You learn. Alright. I don't even know his name. Do I? I don't remember. <laughs> Let's talk to Clem. Which way out? Through there. Right. Let's check out your room, the room that you were in. Okay, no, we cannot. Let's take the knife. I mean, the, the cleaver. Okay, we can't. Let's take a look at the head then. Jesus. Don't look in there. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Maybe you should listen to the door. Oh! Okay. Oh! What? Am I really that dead? Am I, am I dead? Um. <laughs> it. It didn't bite you. Yeah. You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. I think you should close the door behind you first before you chop things up. Like oh, no. Close, close the door, Lee. Close the door. Oh, Clem. I'm sorry, Clem. This, <laughs> this is. Oh. Oh, you gotta wear it like a necklace. Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, why can't you use a sheet and then cover it? Let's talk to Clem. We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done? Be sure. Uh. <laughs> there, that should do it. I oh. hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around and don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Oh, aren't you gonna bring those stuff with you? Let's 
sounds like it's gonna rain. The thunder? Alright. Yeah, that doesn't look good, does it? You know, every single time everybody uses this, this um, method, it starts raining in the middle somewhere. <laughs> so, um, maybe it's a good idea to actually do two layers. One, oh, hey, excuse me, you. One layer on your clothes and another layer, like you, you get a, a blanket and then cover that with all the guts and stuff. Have two layers, you know. Excuse me, lady. Is that, is that mom and dad? Oh, don't look, don't look. Okay, good. It didn't rain. Nice. Free, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please, no. Free, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. I know. Come here. Come here, sweet pea. They're dead. They really are. Uh, Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Oh, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three. Oh, I can feel it. you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. It was awful out there. Never get yourself trapped. You're just learning, Ella. Never let yourself get trapped. Okay? I won't. We'll get out of here. And just don't do it again. Okay, I won't, I won't. I won't. Keep going. We're almost there. Clementine has to learn in order to survive. Get up, Lee! The door is right here! You really don't look so good, Lee. You're turning purple. 
<sighs> I can't. You have to. Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? Oh, you need to get out of here. You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I, I can't leave you. Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Uh. Ow! <laughs> Not with your hand. How about this thing? Can we get this thing? Can we get this? It looks kind of huge. Um... Oh, there. There's a chair okay. over there. There's a, there's a chair, Clem. There's a chair. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. You are doing good. Okay. What am I? What am I? What am I doing? Uh. Keep pulling. It might give. <laughs> that window, just regular glass. <laughs> yes, I get it. I get it. Oh, hey, baseball bat. Okay. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Shadow that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. <laughs> Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. There's a chair over there. Yes, we have established that, yes. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Careful of the glass. Then open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. Everything you need. What's this? The handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. You gonna handcuff this guy then? Oh, we're, oh, we're handcuffing ourselves. Well, get the key first. Oh, wait. We can handcuff the walker and handcuff up some. We are a danger to her, aren't we? Let's, um... You're doing really good. Let's handcuff ourselves, just in case. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, we're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Actually, is that a good Make idea? Sure, they're tight. I don't. I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with it. He's trapped over there. Be careful. You can get what you need from him. The keys and then the gun. Keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Uh, the gun. Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Careful, man. Oh! <gasps> 
it! Get him! Kill it! You have to kill it! Watch out! Oh! I am knocked out. No, 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 get it. Get it. Get it. You're strong. You're strong. You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now... You... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Standing over Doc holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I I can. Fandomid and Krista. They're probably looking for us right now. Stay on high ground. Don't go too far. You'll find them. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. The hair short. Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... Gosh. Clem? Clem, you got to go. What? What is it? No, don't worry. of me oh it's still that ending is still heartbreaking even though I I I I, I played it before it's still yeah well this is the end of episode one we should we should uh, see 
see oh okay so uh after this we probably get to see um the preview for for chapter two uh for the game game number two but anyway so let's see, 71% removed their arm, 74 lost their temper with Kenny. What? When did we... When did we lose our temper with... Just because I called him... A, come on. Okay, 59% surrendered your weapons. Uh, 57% didn't kill the stranger. <laughs> I think it's because I can't press Q fast enough. So, um, yeah, 63% made sure Lee didn't turn. All right. Okay, let's see uh, what's the end. We should be seeing... Oh, okay. Oh, hey, what's this? Uh, you fed defended his son in a drug, drug store. You fought him when he was in denial. You killed his son so he didn't have to. He was lost to the herd trying to save Ben. And then... Uh, she shot herself. Yep. Uh, Larry died in the meat locker. Okay. Uh, I backed her up when the supplies went missing. Choose to reveal her past. Oh, reveal my past. Bonded with him over U.S. history. Helped him to get onto the train. You were separated after you crossed the sign. Okay, and then what? We stood up for Ben. Uh, asked Ben to help. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is interesting. I don't remember seeing these before. You met her on the worst day thus far. Revealed your bite. Yada yada yada. Okay. Alright, so this is the end of episode 5. And um, I should be playing um, with the, the Walking Dead 2 pretty soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. So anyway, what did you guys think about the ending? Would you guys cut your arm off if you got bitten like that? Like, to be honest, I think he could have survived it if he had antibiotics to go with it. Maybe, but then again, um, it took him a while before he actually cut it off. So I don't know if it if the infection already um traveled through his blood. So uh, but anyway, so anyway, we'll be playing The Walking Dead too soon. So stay tuned. We are playing Clementine. I think I haven't played that before. So uh, I I'm gonna be I'll be in for some big surprise there. I don't know what to expect. So uh, yeah. Anyway, that is all I have for today. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Alright, bye.